muscular structure and muscles that you can place uh, surgical implants. Mm -hmm. So this right here, you see there's a tiny U-shaped scar right there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I used a large hypodermic needle, needle to inject a, uh, a RFID. Look at this shit. Right. So this is a chip in my hand. Uh, there's very few places in your hand to get all the bones and all the vascular structure and muscles mm -hmm. that you can place uh, surgical implants. Mm -hmm. So this right here, you see there's a tiny U-shaped scar right there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I used a large hypodermic needle, needle to inject a, uh, a RFID uh, implant about the size of a grain of rice. Mm -hmm. And then above that, I have a tritium implant so that it glows in the dark right here. Mm -hmm. Through my skin. But right here, it's near the surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. And you can touch and use contact with pigment for electronic door locks. Uh, wallets, all kinds of things. Already. Y'all heard that? It's going down. Look at this shit. Right. So, this is a chip in my hand. Uh, there's very few places in your hand to get all the bones and all the vascular structure and muscles mm -hmm. that you can place uh, surgical implants. Mm -hmm. So this right here, you see there's a tiny U-shaped scar right there. Mm -hmm. And that's where I used a large hypodermic needle, needle to inject a... Uh, a RFID uh, implant about the size of a grain of rice. Mm. And then above that, I have a tritium implant so that it glows in the dark right here mm. through my skin. But right here, it's near the surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. And you can touch and use contact with pigment for electronic. Yeah. Yep, it's going down. I'm telling you.